Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning for the week of June 1st through the 7th, so I will be filling in everything that happened this week. This is the first spread from my four week plan with me using a kawaii kit from Sweet Kawaii Design called Positive Vibes. Most of the stickers that I will be using are from Sweet Kawaii Design, but I will try my best to point out any of the stickers that aren't. Of course, if you ever have any questions, you can definitely leave them down below. I am starting by filling out my sidebar. In the blank weekly schedule, I like to track my sleep, and I also write the sleep score that's in my Fitbit app. And I just realized that I didn't finish filling in my sidebar. I think I was more focused on remembering which days I posted on Instagram because I knew for sure that I didn't post every single day. In the full box at the top, I am marking which week of quarantine we are in using a free printable from the Coffee Monsters Co. Now getting into the week. On Monday, my husband booked his work trip. He still isn't sure if that work trip is still going to happen, but he wanted to get it booked just in case. Since it was the first of the month, I wanted to make sure that all of our bills were scheduled to be paid. I also painted my nails, cleaned the counters, and meal planned for the week, and also started our grocery list. In the half box, I'm using this Hello June sticker from Planning City. I'm glad I remembered to pull this one out this time because usually I have to sneak it in. Below that, I wanted to mark that it was the Coffee Monsters Co. Washi presale, and this was the first time I've ever ordered any of her washi, so I was really excited about it. Then in the corner box, I have the Struggle Bus sticker. On this day, I definitely started to realize that I was struggling a bit, and I was feeling a lot of the effects of not getting enough sleep. Below that, I wanted to mark that I edited my memory plan with me. I added a yellow header and the sun sticker. I wanted to mark that I put a poll up on my Instagram asking everyone to guess which summer kit PJ chose to use. I had four different Sweet Koi design kits, and most of the votes were split between Ice Cream Dreams, which is the kit I thought he was going to choose, and Summer Heat, which is the one he actually chose. So I was really excited that he actually wanted to do another video, and as of right now, he will be using that kit that he chose for the second week of July. But at the very bottom, I moved the quarter box really close to the bottom washi. I didn't really see myself using that little space, so I wanted to move everything down, and I used a sticker to mark bath night. Moving on to Tuesday, I uploaded my memory plan with me. We had an appointment to get our pool cleaned. I vacuumed the couches, cleaned PJ's room, and I took out the trash. In the half box, I wanted to mark that I called my mom. I don't know exactly what I want to write, but I will fill that in later. Then I moved this full box from Wednesday because Tuesday was a lot less busy than Wednesday was, so I didn't have as much to mark, and I thought that having a full box here would be perfect. Below that, I marked a workout with my husband, and then at the bottom, again, I will be moving all of the boxes at the bottom to have the same spacing. But in this half box, I marked family Zoom with my brother, sister, mom, and dad. On Wednesday, I'm using a sun to mark that it was over 100 degrees. It was trash day. My husband went to visit one of his best friends. I tidied up and ran the Roomba. We had an air conditioning technician scheduled to arrive at 2. And then my husband brought our favorite burritos for lunch. In the half box, I wanted to mark that we had no AC. It was already hot as soon as we woke up, so we had all the fans running and we were kind of hanging out underneath those. Thankfully, we just needed a tune-up and we were able to get the air conditioning back on around 3.30. PJ woke up earlier from his nap, so we decided to take him swimming with us. Benny ended up sleeping the entire time we were out there, so we were able to get some one-on-one -on -one time with PJ. Then I used some Simply Gilded washi just to fill in some space and use some of the deco from the kit. This kit comes with a lot of deco stickers, so I really want to try to use as many as I can. Below that, I wanted to mark that we had a family walk. And at the very bottom, I used this cloud paired with a heart bubble icon to mark bath night. Flipping over to Thursday, 
Again, I'm using a sun above the date cover to mark that it was over 100 degrees. The first thing I wanted to mark was that we are dealing with ants. This is something we ran into last summer as well. So right now our house smells of peppermint, which has been working pretty well, but we do have to keep an eye on everything. I also cleaned the bathrooms. I recorded my voiceover. I cleaned the counters. And then my dentist called because they were finally reopening and I was able to get my appointment scheduled for the following day. My original appointment was in March, so I was happy to get scheduled so quickly. In the half box, I wanted to mark that it was two of my friends' 10-year anniversary. They are two of my friends from college, and I actually met them before they started dating. So we have been friends for at least 10 years, which seems crazy, but it's such an exciting milestone, and I'm really happy for them. Then I used a working onesie emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I started editing my four-week plan with me. Below that, I have a fitness flat lay from River Street Stickers to mark our workout. Then I wanted to mark that I called my dad. Again, I wasn't sure exactly what to write, but I will fill that in later. In the half box at the bottom, I wanted to mark family Zoom with my brother, sister, mom, and dad. On Friday, I did a huge grocery run. Then I had to disinfect and put away all the groceries. Then we found out that we needed to replace our water heater from our property in Washington. I swept and swiffered, and it was also laundry day. In the half box, I used the sticker from Once More With Love that says I'm 108% tired. This sticker definitely could have applied to any day this week, but I really liked how it looked in this half box. I had my dentist appointment and I was pretty excited because I was able to get started on Invisalign because I didn't have any cavities. So I was able to get all of the pictures taken and all of the molds made. And this sticker is from Fox and Cactus. Below that, I used a work from home with distraction sticker from Once More With Love to mark that I tried to edit. Then I used a sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. I covered up this rainbow and I love how it looks next to the clouds. But I wanted to mark that I took a much needed nap. I really wanted to continue editing but I couldn't focus and I couldn't stay awake so I knew I had to take a nap. I received some happy mail on this day from Sweet Kawaii Design as well as Rose Color Days. And then the boys and I actually woke up really late from our naps, so we ended up getting Taco Bell for dinner. It's pretty common for us to get takeout or fast food on days that I actually go get groceries because it's so exhausting and so time consuming that I don't even want to be in the kitchen anymore. Moving on to the weekend, on Saturday we signed some papers. Again, I tried to edit, and then I really wanted to make sure that I wrote in my journal. In the half box, I wrote that PJ set up his June calendar with the wacky holidays. He usually does this on the first of every month, but I forgot to order the wacky holidays ahead of time, so they had arrived on Friday evening, and as soon as he woke up, this is the first thing he did. I really wanted the boys to watch a Disney movie, so I put on Mulan, and the sticker is from Sweet Bean Plans. Then I had to go back to the dentist to get some x-rays, the x-ray machine wasn't set up on Friday, so I went in on Saturday. Then I picked up McDonald's for lunch, which I normally wouldn't have marked, but I love these stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then, as you can see, I added a day extender because there was just so much going on this day. But on the outside, I used the sewing munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that I sewed a pillow. And as I was doing that, I was also FaceTiming my sister. And then at the very bottom, I wanted it to mark that it was bath night. In the day extender, I used this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I just could not focus on this day. And that was definitely true for most of the week as well. But on this day, I decided to give myself grace. I was able to acknowledge that I was struggling and I needed to focus on taking care of myself and my mental health. So I just started with doing the little things to take care of myself, like showering, brushing my teeth, skin care, all of that. I also journaled to try to process my thoughts and I was finally able to get a good night of sleep this night. I had been really stressed about getting my video finished for Sunday. 
I just decided to take the pressure off of myself to get the video finished. I decided it didn't matter when it actually went up, I just go at my own pace. Part of me wishes I could explain myself and talk about everything I'm struggling with, but I know it's not the time and hopefully that's enough of an explanation for now. But at the very bottom of the stay extender, I wanted to write that we had a little dance party and Benny showed off his new dance move. Apparently he had seen my husband celebrating while he was playing video games, so he copied one of his dance moves, but we had a lot of fun that evening. On Sunday, we had our second family church service over Zoom, and I also did our budget for the first week of June. In the half box, I wrote that I finished editing my four-week plan with me. I really thought that video would end up being a week late, but once I took the pressure off myself, I was really able to focus, and obviously getting a good night of sleep also helped, but it was crazy to me that I was actually able to finish editing on this day. Below that, I have Simon in a robe. I wanted to mark that we kind of relaxed on this day. And then I added a speech bubble from the Coffee Monsters Co. that says, Give yourself time to grow. In the quarter box, I wanted to mark that I cooked dinner. Like I mentioned last week, this is something that is rare for me to want to actually do, so I definitely wanted to mark that. Then the last thing for Sunday was I wanted to write that we had another dance party. The bow has nothing to do with dancing, but like I mentioned, I was trying to use more of the deco. Now I'm going to the monthly overview and filling in the highlights for this week. On the 1st, the Coffee Monsters Co. had the Washi pre-sale. On the 2nd, I had a bunch of calls with family. On the 3rd, we went in the pool with PJ and we also had our air conditioning tune-up. On the 4th was my friend's 10 year anniversary. On the 5th I had my dentist appointment. On the 6th I decided to give myself grace. And on the 7th I wrote that this week I had one upload. But that is all for my memory plan with me this week. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.